Okay, in this video we're just doing a little more experimenting with our single loop through our toroid transformer which is this small piece of copper wire here that go, passes through the center of our toroid and then through our 0.1 ohm or 100 milli ohm resistor here we have a little on and off switch just so we can switch our um, circuit on and off as we are going in the background here you'll see I have a half loop or a uh, half circle of steel pipe um, quite thick steel pipe inside that steel pipe you'll see I have some rubber hose and what we'll be doing after we get our base measurement of this circuit we're going to feed this wire through this rubber hose and through this steel pipe and we're going to isolate exactly one half of the loop length um, with our steel pipe so we're going to isolate that half um, of our loop from the electric and magnetic field mostly the electric field as um, this being a toroid most of the magnetic field is contained within the core itself. Here you'll see I have a small coil sitting over our steel pipe and across that coil I have a 100 ohm resistor which we're going to place channels 2 of our scope across and we're going to have a look at the um, voltage across that resistor when we switch the circuit on and off. So channel 1 of our scope, our yellow channel, is simply across our 100 milliohm resistor and I have the variac set over here as you can see at about 145 volts um, and that is to get us close to 200 millivolts across our 100 milliohm resistor just an easier number to work with rather than having 197 or 168 or something like that so uh, that is why it is set like that to give us around 200 millivolts across our resistor there or our CVR as we're using it and um, 200 millivolts across that resistor of course give us 2 amps of current flow through our loop and the resistor will be dissipating about 400 milliwatts of power in the form of heat of course so we're all set up ready to go you probably can't see this but over there we have a little watt meter zoom in at the moment um, our transformer is on our secondary loop is switched off at the moment at idles we are bought, um, drawing 1.2 watts of power okay so um, also so far up at the scope you can see we have nothing because as I said our switch is currently off 2.2 8, 3 millivolts, nothing at all. Um, frequency will be shown and our RMS value also across channel 2 when we put our um, steel pipe in that loop. Alright, so we're going to switch it on and as you can see there we're running dead on 50 hertz which is our mains frequency here and we are pretty much spot on 200 millivolts across our resistor so we're now dissipating 400 milliwatts of power um, across well not only the resistor but the wire in our loop as well and um, we have a current flow average of 2 amps alright so our watt meter now is reading 1.6 watts so 
indeed we have added 400 milliwatts to our power draw. We'll zoom you back out now. This um, tripod seems to be a little tight. Anyway, not to worry. We'll loosen off a little bit so we can get that a bit smoother. So that's what we have at the moment. Um, our 200 millivolts across our resistor, giving us our 2 amps of current flow, frequency of 50 hertz. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'll turn the camera off because it takes a while to feed the wire through this tube and then it's a bit fiddly getting it back up into the um, chalky blocks here. So we'll switch our circuit off and uh, we'll come back shortly. Alright, so we've got our bit of pipe, um, our steel pipe going through the loop. Um, that steel pipe, I said 50%, it's actually about 50%, uh, 57%. Um, of our complete loop that that pipe covers. So one would think we're going to see um, a drop in dissipated power across our resistor and um, due to the fact that now uh, the steel pipe is acting as a Faraday cage over half of our loop. So that should protect our loop from both the magnetic and the electric field. Now the magnetic field is extremely weak. Um, this is why we put this coil here around our steel pipe. This will show us any increase in the magnetic field um, simply by the way of induction. As we're going through the uh, very center of our toroid, once the current starts to flow through our single loop, um, pointing vector should be developed, uh, increasing the magnetic field within the center of our transformer and thus we should see that reflected across our sniffle coil here, um, like I said through means of induction. So like I said there was a hundred, there's a hundred ohm resistor across our coil. This is the primary side out of a transformer so, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of turns on there and um, we're doing that and high value resistance so as we can see any difference that we have. So our circuit at the moment is switched off. Oh, that's a little smoother now that I've loosened that. That one's not a little smoother yet. Now it is. Okay, so once again our watt meter there is showing us 1.2 watts on idle and our scope Now triggering off channel 1, um, I actually perhaps should trigger off channel 2 in this part of the test. Um, I will leave it as it is, so we're triggering off channel 1 uh, so as to keep it the same as the first half. But you can see here quite clearly we've got about 46, point, 46 to 46.3 millivolts across our 100 ohm resistor. So the magnetic field um, at the moment is extremely weak um, that's hardly anything coming off there again what we're actually going to be looking at here is once a current starts to flow through our secondary circuit or our single loop we would think um, we would see an increase um, in the magnetic field but um, Let's switch it on and have a look, see what we do have. We would also think that now that half of our loop is shielded uh, by a Faraday cage, or in this case, our steel pipe, uh, we should see a decrease in output power as well across our CVR. So let's switch it on and see what we come up with. Okay, so we've seen about a 1 millivolt rise across our 100 ohm resistor now that current is flowing through so that is next to nothing there's almost absolutely no change whatsoever um, in our magnetic field through the center or around our toroid transformer okay so that only leaves us with the electric field 
that's inducing the voltage across our secondary circuit or in our single loop turn and we have now isolated uh, just over half of that single loop from the electric field by way of our steel pipe here acting as a Faraday cage. But what we can see here we, are st we still have exactly 200 millivolts um, across our CVR which means that CVR is still dissipating our 400 milliwatts um, and also we still have our two amps of current flowing through that circuit even though now um, half of our single turn loop is now being protected from our electric field our watt meter is still showing us 1.6 watts so nothing has changed there either so that was just a uh, little experiment I wanted to carry out uh, and I'm actually going to see if I can bend up two-thirds of the loop and cover up 80% of our single loop turn with our steel pipe and uh, see if we get a drop there but at the moment we've seen absolutely no drop whatsoever and we've seen virtually no change in the magnetic field even though there's two amps of current now flowing through our uh, single turn circuit all right thanks for watching and um, maybe this will start to give us some answers towards some other things we're looking at cheers guys